everybody's feeling good and great and all that other shit. Um, yeah, you fucking with some wet ass pussy. Bring a bucket and a mop for this wet ass pussy. Give me everything you got for this wet ass pussy. Well, y'all know how I do it. I just jump right into it. So today is sex <laughs> tip. Bitch, sex, <laughs> tip, <laughs> Tuesday, <laughs> bitch. <sighs> okay, so look, so this is a real true story, so, you know. And also, ladies and men, also, you have, you have to pay attention to shit. When something, when you feel something inside or something, pay attention to that shit, because that shit is real. Check this shit out. Met somebody, right? Me and this person, we just just met. We just started talking. And uh, we wind up talking for like five hours. I stood there. He was at work. I was on my bike. We stood there and we talked for five hours. You know, we talked there. You know, just had general conversation. Nothing, nothing, nothing. You know what I'm saying? And then we uh, we exchanged phone numbers of whatnot. So I was like, oh, okay. But wait, let me give y'all a picture. So, however... I wasn't attracted to him in that way. And I knew maybe he was attracted to me. I don't know. But I, you know, it was during the summertime. I had my little short shorts. I uh, had a helmet on. So I wasn't pre present presenting myself like I present myself when I present myself. You know what I'm saying? So, um... I don't know what his mind was at, but in my mind, I'm like, if he ever gets to that point, I'm going to have to tell him, like, no, nah, like, I, you know, you you cool, but, you know, you don't make my pussy pop. I'm just saying. But we did have great conversation. So, from that, we would, um, so I think he asked me for a Facebook or Instagram, whichever the one, and when people do that, I'm like, yo, I'll, I'll, um, I'll add you later, you know what I'm saying? Cause you know, bitch need her glasses on all this old shit. So, um, so the next day he called, he was like, I see you didn't add me. And I was like, oh shit, I forgot about the shit. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, oh, okay. And Mike, this is on Facebook. You know? So on Facebook, I really like, it'd be a whole bunch of like people. I'd be like, ah, you know? So I was, but anyway, I found the boom, did that. So, so we talking, we have a, you know, just general conversation. Then we got to, you know, every other day, good morning or at night, how was your day? You know, good night. You know, that those type of things, you know, a little small talk shit. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So that was going on, maybe for like a week or something. And then one day, um, at first we was, we, we talked on the phone, like maybe like one time, I think. And then like he was on, then he just started texting. So I was like, oh, okay. You know, because a lot of you motherfuckers on this Texas shit, I can't stand that shit. But anyway, like, all right, so that, that's for cool, too, for me. Because in my mind, like, I already, the, I'm not saying that like that, but but I already placed you in the friend zone. Like, you know, we're not, like, on that, I'm not interested in getting to know you in no sexual way. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, um, then he called me one day, all out of the blue, and was like, I wish I was shocked because he was texting, like I said. And he was like, um, yo, uh, what you doing? And I was like, you know, walking, you know, because I was walking. And uh, he said, well, I cooked. And it was like a, you know, just silent right there. And I was thinking in my mind, I don't give a fuck. You know what I'm saying, bitch? Everybody cook. Like, what the fuck is you telling me this shit for? That's what I'm thinking in my mind. I ain't saying, but in my mind. So, um, then, then he comes out and say, um, you know, I'd like to invite you over. Would you come over without hesitation? No. And then you could tell, like, I could tell like in his voice, like he kind of, um, like went to like, you know, like, like his, like his ego was, was shrunken a little bit. Then he was like, well, don't say I never asked. I'm thinking motherfucker, you should have never asked because I don't even motherfucking know you. What makes you think I'm coming over your motherfucking house? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's... What? 
Two days so me and so my they were so wild. Then after we get off the phone, my brother called, so I told him what happened. He was like, Yeah, you better leave that motherfucker alone. And I was just and mind you, in my mind, I was thinking that way anyway. You know what I'm saying? I was like, Yeah, cause this don't sound too right to me. Like it's just like you a grown man, this ain't like a young man. Like he's in we like in the same age bracket, we in our fifties. Like, I'm not bitch, I don't know you. You know what I'm saying? I do not motherfucking know you. Like, we're not... Mm-mm. Why would I come to you? So, anyway, so I was like, you know what? And it was and it was heavy on my heart and, and in my spurt to where I was like, you know what? I got to just... I blocked him on my phone and also blocked him on social media. But wait, 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 wait. Back it up, back it up, back it up before we get to that point. So, the day goes on. So, then later on, he called me. And we, you know, we talking. So he said, I don't, he, I don't know what the fuck he said. He said something. Then he said 99. He said, I think he said he was at his grandmama house. And then he said 99. Now when he said that, and also the way that he asked me to come to his house, like, I was like, okay, either this dude, like he probably suffered from low self-esteem and clearly he don't know how to talk to a, a woman. You know what I'm saying? Which is a... A, rep a recipe for disaster. So I was just uh so so now we back to this. I'm at my grandma's house 99. That's what he said. And I'm like, what the fuck that mean? I didn't say that. Cause I know I can be a little, you know what I'm saying? I know to double back. You know what I'm saying? So I double back. And I was just like, I ain't even answer like what the fuck that was. Cause that I just was like, I'm just gonna leave that alone, let that shit show right on my motherfucking head. It ain't for me. So then he said, um, oh, it's my grandma's birthday. She's 99. Okay, y'all may think this is harsh, but I'm saying, but this is how I felt. I don't give a fuck. Like, I'm just saying. Like, in my mind, I didn't say it to him, but I was like, in my mind, like, I don't even know you. Why you calling me telling me that it's your grandma's birthday? I'm just, due to the fact that we only been on the phone for like a week or something like that. Now, I, like, and the way that he said it. Like, it was the way that he went about the shit that made me be like. So, um, so after that, and after, you know, before when he asked me to come over to his house, my name, been, we've been texting each other for a week. You ain't never took me out on a date. You know what I'm saying? Then you, then later on that day, you called to about some 99, and then it was a pause, and then my mind, I'm thinking, what the fuck, what, what the fuck is you talking about? Then he said it was his grandma's birthday, in my mind, in my mind, in my mind. I was like, I don't give a fuck. But I was like, oh, that's nice. But from all of that shit, I was just like, no. No. I definitely, I can't. Mm -mm, I got to delete you. I don't know what the fuck is going on with you. Now, my, he, throughout our conversation, he was a really nice guy. Or some, sh you know, shit like that. Um, but also, I found that was strange, too. Now, because Mike was at his job, and so... Uh, I guess, I don't know if this was his uh, manager, a, a supervisor or something. Like, he was talking to him a little crazy. And so then one day, like, we was on the, uh, that day when, about his, um, when he asked me to come to his house. And I said something. Then he was like, check your toes. No, bitch, you don't tell me the motherfucker check my toes. Then I was thinking, like, yo, I done seen you let a man, like, motherfucker talk to you reckless. But then you feel that like you could come to me and tell me to check my motherfucking toe. You ain't tell this motherfucker to check his motherfucking toe. That should have been the perfect time to tell a motherfucker to check their motherfucking toe. But you're not. See, men who get emasculated by other men, they feel like they can try to try to rough house a woman. Like, whether it's verbally, spiritually, uh, physically. You know what I'm saying? No, bitch, I already see how you get down. So, uh, no. And not that I'm using my shit for that. But I'm just saying, like, are you fucking kidding me right now? Like, but through all that shit, something just told, well, was on my spur. Was like, leave, delete this motherfucker from your phone and, un, like, unfriend him and all that little shit. The point of that story, people, is for you to pay attention to the motherfucking side because motherfuckers be telling you a whole bunch of shit about themselves. Now, that doesn't mean that he's a bad person. I don't know that. But for me... And like whether it sat on me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not that thirsty. No, I, I'm not in a relationship and no shit like that. I'm not that thirsty to be in a motherfucking relationship with motherfuckers. And I'm just going to be willing to, to overlook some shit that I feel that is odd. And, you know, like, his, his whole shit was just, like, off. Like, you don't actually want... Man, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> Women, too. 
You don't be, no, ain't nobody coming to nobody's house after a week or some shit like that. No, we're not doing that. We're not doing that. No. You, we, we can meet somewhere in, in a public place, whatever. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying that a motherfucker got to spend no money on a bitch, although that's nice. But if, if, that, if that ain't where you at in life financially, it's okay. Like, I love taking, uh, walking in the park and being outside and all this sort of shit. Like, you know, be creative with your thought process and the way that you plan shit. But he would have got tore down anyway. Just in case. Now, I don't know where his mind was at, but uh, as far as him trying to highlight me, but mm -mm, I just wasn't. Oh, and also, wait, I forgot to tell y'all, this is the, the best part. His motherfucking teeth. Bitch, you see my shit. And I don't wear no, I, these mine, bitch. You see, I do got tongue missing right here, too. Right there, because, you know, when I was younger, I was playing myself eating candy and shit like that. But I takes care of my motherfucking teeth. No, I'm, oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Ain't no way in the fuck. And I'm a, it's, when it comes to sex, the one thing I love to do like, like, I'm a kisser. Like, I like to kiss. Like, for me to, for me to, to kiss a motherfucker, first of all, like, yo, 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 um, yo, yo dental wear gotta be on motherfucking point, bitch. Like, and it gotta be some attraction. And I wasn't attracted to him, like. And then I'm also in the skin, too. Like, dudes got really bad skin. Like, it kind of, that, that throwed me off, too. Like, uh, like, you know, you gotta take care of your whole body, people. I know maybe some people... Parents never taught them. They just don't know, and they know what they know when they know when they grow up because it wasn't taught to them. But for me, uh, mm -mm, no, I can't. I can't do it. No, no, I don't do it. No, <laughs> like, mm -mm. so the the point of this motherfucking story, motherfuckers, please. When you when you can meet somebody and you can like, the, I mean, y'all, you can feel. Like, uh, this would probably be a great um, associate, or maybe it can, it can blossom into a friendship. But if there is no physical attraction there, is there something that about them that you just, that don't, like, is appealing to you? They don't make your pussy pop, they don't make your dick hard. Like, you know, it is what it is. But as far as um, when you just not meeting somebody and inviting them to your home, or, or even, you know, motherfuckers even do shit like this. Yo, you know, and then he also did this. He was like, yeah, because we talking about cooking and shit. This was our first time, um, in our first encounter. He said, uh, do you cook? He said, oh, so, and I was like, yeah. So he told me, you're going to invite me over. I'm thinking, is this bitch for me? Okay, I, I just took that as a joke because he ain't, you don't know me. Like, I know he wasn't dead ass like with that shit because we ain't, you would never come to my, bitch, what? Yo, listen. Yo, pay attention to motherfuckers. Pay attention Pay attention. You can also see, like, if a dude is overly, like, pay attention, ladies and gentlemen. Some motherfuckers, you can't, nah. You got to block that, leave that, delete that, nah. This is a wrap. Like, no, 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 thank you. It's okay. Like, you know, every, everybody move on and all that old shit. So let me know if y'all ever had an encounter like that and how did you handle it? Did you proceed on with the, uh, with the friendship or... Or did you develop a, a relationship with this person? And what have and what was the outcome? Just in case if you had a similar situation that I just had, where it was just awkward, like and, and very bizarre for somebody to be saying certain shit to you at the very beginning, like the fuck you mean? Anyway, y'all know my name is Real. I'm an intimacy coach slash seductress with a service called Seductive Art. Um, I am. I will be at. Erotica Expo. I have to check my emails. They said they would be sending me my dates and time. So if y'all are into that, please come check me out. I'm going to let y'all know when I'll be there. It's, but it's in Edison, New Jersey. It's from the, the first to the third or the third to the fifth, some shit like that. But I'll keep y'all posted. So I'm super excited about that. I have my own seminar. You know what I'm saying? You come and say, and let's say that I mean, pop my shit, do what, I, do what I do when I do when I do it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's a sex industry situation. So you know, but hopefully you, if you're comfortable in that space, then you, you would love it. You know what I'm saying? Um, and also y'all know I'm an author. The title of my book is called Quickie and Seven Short Erotic Stories. Be like, fuck, fuck, why you read? Y'all already know what time it is. I'm also a designer. The name of my brand is Real Nice by Real. I will be having, um, some, some things for purchase soon. 
Because as you know, we're going through this holiday season. It'll be a great gift. And then not only that, honey, you're supporting a black designer. It's important. Like, be conscious of where you spend your money. Like, you know, especially if you're a black person. Like, you should be spending your money with black. And as dope as these motherfucking black designers are. Like, how dare you? But anyway, um, if it, so that's that. And, you know, the name of my brand is Real Nice by Real. Um, and also... If I resonate with you, you know what to do. Please hit that, click that. Please, I want to get my shit up so to where I can go live. We can have conversations. Y'all can call in. You know, and all that old shit. So I would appreciate you just clicking that subscribe button. Uh, and shout out to everybody who have done it thus far. I appreciate you. And um, also, wait, what the fuck? Y'all already know how we lead this motherfucker. Be gracious. Be kind. Be polite. Be generous. Be thoughtful. Black people be black and proud. Be about your motherfucking money. Be a part of your motherfucking community. Be great. Be patient. Um, be graceful. Be stylish. Be sexy. Be confident. Be aware. Be loving. Did I say that already? Be clean, because cleanliness is next to, next to godliness. Be happy, that's a whole choice. Be spiritual. Be one with your ancestors, that's if that's you on that type of time, black people. Um, And be voiceless, opinionated. And all this all great shit. Because you know all we're doing over here is pushing P. And what does that mean? We're pushing positivity. And in the midst of all of that, don't you ever turn, don't you fold, don't you buckle. And that is, you always be you, because you is what makes you unique. Until we meet again, y'all have a great one. Peace.